Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Rim World of Magic Royalty. On point one, uh, I need to get myself moving. Vasilla now has ten uh, social as well. However, I'm still a little bit better at it, which means I am the prime trader, I guess. I don't know. I'm the one doing the trading. I'm gonna go eat some raw honey. Just reach into the pot, shove it in my face like I'm a Pooh Bear. Delicious. Alright, get some more cooking done. And we'll get on the road, I think. I don't think I'm gonna take Dismas for protection this time, though. We'll take Vasilla instead. Because she also snipes okay. And Dismas and Reynold have more important work they could be doing here at the, at the colony. I almost said at the house. I mean, there is a house here, but it's not all house. You know? But hey, we're about to make some money. It's almost tax time, my dudes. All right. Oh, hey, why does this bed still belong to the other guy? Didn't I send him out? To, like, a colony? Where he's, like, doing stuff? Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, once Vasilla is awake, which is going to be extremely soon. And then we're close enough, actually. Let's go ahead and form a caravan. We're going to put Fett and where is she? Vasilla together. We're going to ride on some griffins. Like some couple of badasses. We're going to bring a giant turtle. Because... Ooh, actually, the, uh, the donkey... Does the donkey impede us less? If the donkey actually speeds us up. Well, hot diggity. What about the little muffs? No, the little muffs don't help that much. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, this is fine. Dude, we got Griffin and Titanus eggs over here. Let's bring all the components and advanced components, because we got a lot of them. Oh, we have to bring food, too. <laughs> In theory. Uh, let's bring all the fried meats. Yeah, they don't last forever, but what's, what's a trip here and back right now looking? Point se so 1.4 days? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, bring some pemmican, just to have some extra. And that'll actually get us there and back. Let's grab oh, some medicine, just in case we need it. Let's grab some other things that we can sell. Hmm. What about... Well, let's let's take these lads again. Maybe maybe the military city will buy them. Probably not, but the hoplons are actually worth quite a bit of money. The flash grenades, we'll take one of them. And take all the gold. Yeah. Okay. 0 0.8 days to arrive. That's plenty of time, dude. Basilla's already on it. She's like, "Oh crap, we're moving." Let's get it going. I'm actually going to just walk outside. Don't mind me. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? I'm grabbing all the stuff myself. Thanks. <laughs> all right. An expert craftsman order has been enacted in your faction. Okay, good, good, good. That's a, that's a policy. Yeah. 25% extra production to apparel and weapons. Does nothing for us right away, but if we wanted to put people over here, it would help us. And I think that's good to have tied as well, because that means we could make money, or we could actually get equipment, maybe? I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, they have they have stuff. Let's resolve these bills. You owe us 24 silver, Austin. And uh, you owe us 8 tree wick. Resolve bills. Or were we supposed to wait for the taxes to arrive before doing that? Look, I don't know. All I know is that our freaking faction happiness is at 69%, which is nice. very nice. And the prosperity is there, too. And I kicked a corner of my desk, and it hurt a little bit. Um, oh, we, we, we finally went, oh, wait, we're supposed to actually take stuff. Ah, crap. 
Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh man! We don't go with that troop. Hey, the wall's done. Sweet. Let's go ahead and do the deconstruction dance. Then we're gonna cut it down from here to here. And bada bingus, bada dingus, we have a whole new section of colony that we can build at. Again, we'll probably leave this section for now. We may decide not to. Depending on how things go. We may decide to just figure out a different way. I mean, you just build a building for this thing. But that would be too smart. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Not anytime soon. I mean, I'm trying to gather supplies, but... I'm just stuck here doing it all by myself. And all the grippings and stuff are hanging out up here. Is there a caravan packing spot? Yeah, there is. Why is it... freaking down there? Shark Walker. You learn how to give me the fieriest balls. Alright. Let's, let's shoot your massive fireball and see what it looks like. Okay, because it's upgraded all the way as far as power goes. Which means, if I'm reading it right, for each additional level... He there are three secondary explosions. So we should have the main fireball and then nine little baby explodies. Lord, forgive me for what I'm about to do. Okay. Well, I mean, the little extra explodies are pretty neat. Run. Don't let them see you. Uh, elsewise, you'll be judged. Elsewise. Elsewise. All right. Okay. Basilla is now down here as well, helping form the caravan. It's going a lot faster now that, you know, everyone's centered in the same spot. Plus, it's not like we're using all of this space anyway. So that works for me. Oh, now that I think about it, what I'd kind of like to do with the stockpile zone is, like, remove all of this from it and this. Put it on the outer ring. Maybe use the center part for something else. I don't know what yet, but we don't need it all to be there. We haven't filled all this up yet. You know? Dude, these freaking... Freaking birds are so noisy. But yeah, we could just use the outer ring to store stuff. Diana has given us more chibi muff. Wonderful. Don't add it to the caravan. Actually, maybe we should add him to the caravan. I mean, we have so many of them right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... You know what? Let, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's add... The unnamed ones. This is number two. Let's add the unnamed ones to the caravan. Make some money out of them, you know? I'm not selling the griffins, though. You can't make me. But, I mean, why not? What's the worst thing that could happen? Don't answer that. Alright, the caravan is now moving out. Beautiful. Beautiful. How is this meat not spoiled yet? I mean, it's spoiling. It's just not completely spoiled yet. Ah, we had to refuel. Quickly, Creo. Make meat. Fry more meat. We like fried meat. There we go. Yes. Okay, we're heading to Treewick. 1.3... I... Probably because I added the chibi muffs. Alright, mistakes may have been made. Also, the griffin is at 98. What's wrong with the griffin? A gunshot wound in its leg. Well, that's tragic. We may have to buy a smidge of food while we're there. Just a, just a, a crumb of food. But I think we'll be fine. All things considered. It's nice to be able to tell my lads to get out and travel, you know? Alright. 
Oh, there you go. Taxes en route. They're almost here. They're sending caravans to deliver the taxes. Pretty great. Yo, I actually think we salvaged a good amount of this food, all things considered. I mean, Creo's still going at it. My only problem is we don't have enough olive oil for this. Which means we need to grow more olive trees, and I... That's such a pain in the butt to grow. But whatever, you know, let's do it. Oh wait, we have another zone here we have to worry about. Eh, we don't really have to worry about it. We can just put it in here, fill it in this to this section. Slap me up with more of them olive trees. Your friggin' 16 day growth cycle and 200 work to plant. But whatever. It's fine. Because, yeah. Apparently fried foods are good. Medieval siege equipment done. That's everything in VFE Smithy, huh? Or security. But hey, catapults and ballistas. What's not the like? I assume these can be fired over walls. Which could be fun. What do you research? What does the colony who has everything research next, man? I mean, I could have, you know, Sai, our Liani dude, research Liani stuff. Taxes from Roston have been delivered. There they are, a whole 24 silver. How could I have survived without that? Let's do herbalism. Herb box. There's the non-limed and the limed version. 150 fertility. And you can just place that places, huh? That's pretty neat. A barrel in which raw compost after three and a half days becomes a potting mix for herb boxes. There's the eight taxes from our other other settlement there. Apothecary table. Potting compost. Potting compost. Treat hay with ammonia to make it more edible. Garlic. Ginger. Kale. Nettle. Turmeric. All right, then. Who doesn't love a little bit of garlic? Oh, actually, a lot of people, but... I mean, I guess that's a them problem? I don't know. There goes all that civitherium meat. I mean, it's understandable, okay? Boars. Well, you gotta get them before they get us, so... Let's get the boar meat. Yeah, now we can have Vasilla and Thet, or someone else in Thet, or someone else in Vasilla. You know, I get, we can have a few people away from the colony, while still maintaining some type of homeostasis at the colony. You know what I mean? The colony's holding itself together. That's what I'm trying to get at. Zinnis. He's having a good time approaching Maestro. Feeding him tomatoes. It's going pretty well. Feeding her tomatoes, excuse me. Don't get it twisted. Ray Ray building some grand sculpture. Excellent. I can't wait to put it over here. You know, facing away from the other one. Make a complete sculpty boy. Yo, we should probably take an opportunity to get more sandstone chunkies when we can. Well, one olive tree is done. I mean, that's a start. Needs light level 51. Yeah. Would be nice, wouldn't it? We're at the cusp of getting more cloth. We have plenty of cloth. It's really just the Magicite we need. And the average yield for Magicite is... 7. Yeah, that's... That's slow. <laughs> and we have two on... Well, no, we have mana potions on us. We don't even have any raw magicite on us. Hoy. So we got uh, 18 of these bad boys. So I mean, we have over 100 of it. Yeah, it's not bad then. I mean, snap freeze costs 80. And blink costs 64. So I could make both blink spells or snap freeze and a blink. I'm going to go with snap freeze and a blink. But, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting, we're getting things done. 
I want to learn gear repair soon, too. Ray Ray could use it. I don't know if you can use it on other people, but, you know. That's something we'll figure out as we come along. Don't, or, you know, someone will shout it in the comments. Seems to be something happening on the regular. Not that I'm complaining, especially about things where I don't have, any, like, hardly anything in-game to go on. Like, the Empire mod. I mean, all the information's there. It's just not, not as easily interpreted as I would genuinely like. Spoon feed me, dang it. Don't treat me like a smart lad. <laughs> anyway, we got a wild boar. It's pretty great. Hey, Sai and Volpe are celebrating their relationship anniversary. Is that the same as the marriage anniversary, I assume? Ray Ray's 37? Dude, we got so many parties today. Nikita, why are you out here burning? What? Okay. This is fine, I guess. I mean... Okay, it's raining, so it's legitimately fine. Okay, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. All right. I mean, I was being snarky about it, but yeah, we'll be fine. 1 a.m. It's raining on the 12th of September. It's negative one outside. But it seems to be decent in some of these rooms. Yeah, the torch definitely provides more heat than the oil lamp. But the oil lamp does keep us above zero. So that's something. That's something good. All right. How we doing, Miss Mask? How's the night treating us? We're having honey? Well, then we're having a good time, probably. I would hope. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's below zero, so nothing's going to spoil right now. The big advantage of winter. Knocking down some trees. I mean, I'm okay with that. Fire gone yet? Yeah, the fire is almost gone. So I'm tempted to use Rainmaker to put away the rain. Actually, I got a better idea. Volpe, come out here. Let's heal up Nikita. You know, the opportunity's staring us right in the face. Let's take it. Yeah, we're taking up a good, a good amount of extra real estate over here. I like it. I like it a bit. Come on, you're almost here. There you go. Hey, fully healed. Beautiful. And then just get us some more medicine. Relations with rag muffins have gone up again. From 69, which is nice, to 70, which is also good. Can we throw another worker on the pile yet? No, it still drags us down quite a bit. Actually, they're more expensive now, so of course it's going to drag us down. Yeah, never mind. I should have known that. Uh, yeah. Oh, we could put more workers on Treewick, though. We could actually fill them up with workers. Mm, but they're... The maximum on return is six here. We get the same amount for weapons, though? Well, no, the base is lower, so we wouldn't. Okay, but wait, what if I did four workers here, then one here? Nope, what if I did three workers? Nah, nope, nope. Oh, you know what? Let's go with negative one. It'd be negative 99 if I tied with it. But for now, let's do negative one. Have them make weapons. Uh, Sai and Volpe are going to go celebrate. That happens during the morning, I believe, whereas birthdays happen in the evening. So good for them. She's going to celebrate by harvesting a tree, and he's going to, apparently, Sai's going to celebrate by watching Grio fry meals. How fun. There she is. She finally showed up. Yeesh. How's the caravan going? Point five days. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I keep forgetting we have a grizzly bear. I should have brought you on the caravan to sell. We only have one grizzly. 
I mean, I guess you could argue the same about the um, Kilin or the Kitsune as well. But they're cooler. And the kangaroo's kind of cool, too. That was a short... All right. Whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Zenis has grown stronger. Is ready to develop his combat skills a bit. All right. We could put it in Senpai, which is faster ability gain. So he has... His throwing knife. Applies an instant sedative to prisoners or poison the hostile pawns. Yo, he could instantly down prisoners? And at level 12, he could throw three knives instead of one. Holy cow. The problem is we need to get that to level three before it does anything for him. And survival ups a whole different set of skills. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Decreases the stamina cost. Now, let's... There is one that reduces cooldown, right? Endurance? No. I want to lower cooldown. Oh, it's, it is endurance. It's the other endurance. Because the cooldown for his move is, like, stupid high. Coordination also reduces stamina cost. Yeah, let's get endurance. It's a slow build-up, but... Dude... Taking a full minute to be able to throw another knife. Yikums. I don't want to wait that long per knife. Do you? I don't think you do. I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you're just... Maybe just weird like that. I feel like the next thing we should up for Shark Walker is his efficiency for Fireball. Since it is pretty darn expensive. We've, we've made it a lot stronger. And if we level it up, we could give it terror, which can cause enemies to panic as well. And I think that might be a huge boost to Fireball. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, and I will be wrong in the future. I'm actually thinking about it. If I'm not using this as a Tide, it's probably not worth that much to me, huh? I mean, it could be, but it probably isn't. I could totally build a second quarry here. I could also consider building a barracks here, but that would increase the uh, upkeep by quite a bit. But what if I did two quarries and two barracks? Eh? Oh, I can't have another one. Gotcha. Well, that answers that question. At least it was answered quickly. Uh, Grizzly Bear has the plague. Well, frick. We've researched s simple herbalism. Reynolds' birthday party is happening right now, by the way. What does intermediate get us? Herbal medicine. All right. Aloe vera. Ooh. All right. Aloe's pretty helpful. Henmane. St. John's wort. Yarrow. We could research charcoal, which we can use to make chem fuel. And to make uh, ammonia coolers. It is slightly more smelly as a result. Uh, charcoal kilns. Potash barrels. Charcoal generators. Smithies, etc. Cool. I like this idea. Powders. We can make powders. I guess that makes sense. Let's start with charcoal. Because I'm going to assume that charcoal is probably more efficient than burning wood directly. Otherwise, you know, why would we want the cold so much? Point one days. Let's get there, lads. No, oh, people are hanging out for Ray Ray's party. Everyone except Ray Ray. Where the hell are you, dude? Yo, you got a birthday party. You... The party has been called off because I drafted him temporarily. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Reynold. I didn't mean to call off your party. At least it didn't reduce his mood. And he ate a fried meal recently, so he's feeling good. Oh man. Uh, yeah, it looks like you'll survive the plague. And that was before being tended. It was a terrible tend, but there was an attempt. Point one days. Okay. I want to see what Treewick has for us, my dudes. My dudes. I want to see what Treewick has for us, my dudes. 
Oh, my dudes. Right, I like the fact that they don't eat all the grass anymore. They just eat a part of it. That's a mod. And I appreciate it. Can you move this dead koala? It's been rotten here for years, and I'm just tired of seeing it. I don't know where we would move it. I just want it moved. You better not sleep. Before we make it to Treewick. If you do, I'm going to be so... Okay. Trading time. Treewick. We're going to sell these two chibi muff calves. We're not selling the donkey or the griffs. They have goats. They have pigs. Not that many of them, but they have them. We could sell 65 Componies. Or three advanced Componies. Yes, we will probably need them... Ow, my foot. Uh, for a lot of projects. But for now, we can just get rid of them. What are they what are they worth for us immediately? Not much. We could learn how to build shield generators. Which is cool. That power consumption is less cool. Uh, Orb of the Eternal. What the hell is this? A single-use infusion of magical energy prepared to heal wounds, restore limbs, and cure diseases. The healing energy will target and heal the single worst health condition affecting someone at any given time. Orbs of the Eternal have been used by mages, rulers, and the elite to prolong life. These orbs are valuable and rare, due mostly to the secrecy surrounding the process of crafting an orb. Okay. Ooh. Uh, a Fighter Scroll, Tempest Strike. Rapid succession strikes. No books, huh? Dang. I mean, Psy Trainers for stun and mass skip. What level is stun? Stun is a level one? Heck yeah, dude. Give me stun. I want to learn that. Death Acidifier. Chest implant. Preventing enemy use of captured equipment. Upon the user's death, it releases powerful chemicals that dissolve the gear in contact with the body. I, I hate that. Love Enhancer. <laughs> Humans have always used, uh, have always tried to use every new technology to enhance sexual satisfaction. Bionics for no exception. Oh. Okay. Enhances loving. Gotcha. I am genuinely... What is that? God, I wish I could see the actual effects of it. Anyway, we're not buying that right now. Uh, they have a good plasma sword, which is neat. They have a charge pistol. We have flash grenades. We have a charge pistol, I should say. Uh, I mean, I don't want a hippopo hippopotamus leather shirt. But thank you for asking. You could sell the gold. You guys, I missed it. Did you have any jade? Uh, you have magicite, but that's a terrible price for it, apparently. So I'm going to skip on that. You do not have jade. Dang it, dang it, dang it. You know, we'll take Tempest Strike since we can get that and make some silver. Although, if we just brought the silver home, we could upgrade the city. You know what? Let's sell 25 of these components. That's enough silver to upgrade. So let's just do that. Okay, we've made money. We have 1.1 day worth of food. You know what? Let's uh, buy a little bit of food on the, for the way home. Never mind. They are not selling any. No, they are. Yo, they got pizza? I want some pizza. I mean, apparently the pizza is worth a lot. So buy three pizzas to go. All right. We can't trade with the Ravagers. So I think we just head home. One people united have been enacted in your faction. Cool! I don't remember what that does, but we're gonna find out. Policies. Extra happiness gain, extra military level on settlements. Ooh, that's 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 spicy and good. Minus base tax, though. Which is probably fine. We're still making prog Yeah, we're still making profits off of both cities at this point. And with a le military level of two? What could we do for Treewick's military? You guys can move in the background while I'm looking at this. 2,500? Okay. Well then. Let's go. Give me... Give me a dude. Yeah, give me a fancy dude. We're gonna make a gunner. Heck yeah, we are. Give him... Give him a nice pelt coat. What's the cheapest one we can make? Liani fur. Ugh. 
Patch leather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just patch leather coat and a cheap shirt. Is patch leather the cheapest thing here, too? If it's on here? I mean, it's better than nothing, you know? True dragon leather. Now you're talking my language. But no. Ugh, human leather. Bird skin. Patch leather. That's the same as cloth. All right, we'll just make it out of cloth, then. And... A musket. There you go. There you go. A basic gunner. I like it. I like it a bit. I keep hitting enter, and I don't know if that does anything, and it probably doesn't. Uh, so create a squad. We're going to call them the less, less basic squad. We're going to give them... We're going to give them an axe lad, but we're also going to make sure we have gunners. Four gunners. And can we get one more axe lad? We cannot. We get another basic lad, but I don't think we want another basic lad. Yeah, yeah. So, axe lad here, axe lad here. Clear, clear. Gunner here. No gunner here. There you go. The less basic squad. Dudes that actually have things. Designate squad. Set squad. Less basic. And then you guys can have the... No, you're still level zero. Hmm. No, that says you're level one. Oh, now you're level one. Okay. Uh, the new basic. There you go. All right. We have upgraded our defenses here. And if we get a raid ourselves, we could summon, for example, the new basic from Roston and leave Treewick's less basic squad in place so that they can go help defend Roston if anything happens there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm getting the hang of this Empire thing. Don't think I'm not. You know, we're, uh... Yeah, where there goes our money. Uh, huh. uh Crap. But we're, we're getting it. We're getting it. Just because the taxes went down by 10%. Ah, spoop. It's okay. We'll figure out how to turn it around. In fact, uh, once the boys get home and we upgrade one of these cities, that might be enough to bring us back. Make us some muns. But we'll see. That's going to be it for this episode of that plays Rim World of Magic Royalty. The Empire is growing. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it... it a like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more thanks again for watching this episode of that plays rim world of magic royalty my name is that and i'll see you in the next video my dudes